Well, good morning, everyone. This is Gail Dudley with your News in Motion. What's up? Who's in the house this morning? Today is Mimosa Friday, people. Mimosa Friday. When you come on, go ahead and take your selfie of your mimosa and put it in a thread. Good morning, Ron Robinson. I thought you'd be out running this morning, dude. How you doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning, Laverne Price. How are you, girl? Good morning, Marion. So, y'all, I still don't have a mimosa because I'm still taking medicine. So, I have my bottled water with me this morning. But I want to see those selfie pictures of your mimosas. Good morning, Jeffrey Allen James. What's up? Good morning, people. Good morning, Dana Mosley. What's up, sister? Good morning. Good morning. Y'all up on a Friday morning? What's up, Deborah Sneed? How you doing? What's up, Kelly Lee? Girlfriend, how you doing? Good morning, Jacqueline. What's up? What's up, people? Y'all are in the room. Good and happy birthday to you, Kenny Stanley. I saw your wife's post. You said you're good, you're at work. That's no fun, Ron Robinson. Good morning, Stephanie Burbridge Hall. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. What's happening? Good morning, Yvonne. What's up, girl? Good morning. Yes, I can move, y'all. I can move. I can move. What's up, Dr. Latrice Washington? Good morning, people. Good morning, y'all. Y'all are in the room this morning. Come on in the room. Good morning, Shirley Nicholson. Good morning, Kim Edmondson. Good morning. Good morning, people. It's Sweatshirt Friday. It's Mimosa Friday. I want to see those mimosas. I want to see those pictures of those mimosas. Good morning, Tony Smith. Good morning, people. Yeah, y'all, it is Kenny Stanley's birthday. Good morning, John Gore, TGIF. John, get ready to get your shot in your arm. Don't forget to massage it before and after. Good morning to my biological brother, Louis Pryor III. Good morning, Pastor Antoinette. Y'all are cracking me up this morning. Y'all coming in here. Good morning, Kim Kills. Good morning. Good morning. We even got the people in the central time on here early. It's 6.30 y'all's time. Good morning, Hester. Good morning, Donita. How you doing, girl? How you doing? You gonna have to show, show us what you purchased with your gift card. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Y'all know it's Mimosa Friday. So go ahead and put those mimosas in the house. Yep, John Gord, you take a couple Tylenol. Get ready for your arm. I see everything you say morning. One of the, I missed it. It went too fast. All right, y'all. So let's get started. Let's get started before the weekend. Let's get started before the weekend. Good morning, Damia. Um, and don't forget, if you have a birthday coming up, send it in. Send it in. Kenny Stanley, his wife put it out there this morning, Kelly Stanley. And Kenny has been a supporter of, um, of, uh, politically savvy of uh, myself and my husband for years. We went to E High School together. Yes, we did. Tiger Nation in Columbus, Ohio. So we go way back. Good morning, Diane Ladybug. Good morning. Good morning. So it is Kenny Stanley's birthday. We're not even going to ask him how old he is. Um, oh, I'm sorry, John Gore. My sister, the nurse, said don't take the Tylenol until after. So ignore what I just said. Um, so y'all, let's get started. Okay. Politics in motion, politics in motion. And by the way, good morning to everyone who's listening by audio on iHeartRadio, on Spotify, on, uh, Amazon Music, iTunes and everything else. Oh, he gave us his number, y'all. He's 54. Well, hello, somebody. All right, y'all. U.S. takes military action. That happened. The Biden administration has carried out its first military action with airstrikes in Syria, targeting facilities near the Iraqi border used by Iranian-backed militia groups. So that is happening. Good morning, Deborah Thomas. Good morning, Patricia. Y'all, the Pentagon said that the strikes were a retaliation for a rocket attack in Iraq earlier this month that killed one civilian contractor and wounded a U.S. service member and other coalition troops. So that is happening, y'all. The power of the parliamentarian. Aren't y'all glad I taught y'all about that a few weeks ago? 
and she's a woman. Her name is Elizabeth, um, Elizabeth McDowell. Uh, AP Political, BBC, and others are reporting that the ruling Thursday night, just last night, that an increase to the minimum wage cannot be a part of the legislation. So John Gore, you came in, I think two months ago, saying it wasn't gonna happen, so y'all, that ain't happening. Um, that also includes the 1400 stimulus check. We will get that. But here's what it all means. The House of Representatives plan to vote actually today or on Saturday, and it will include a pay hike. Uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi tweeted last evening after the parliamentarian from the Senate came out and said what she said. However, when the legislation reached the Senate, it will need to be removed uh, to follow certain rules because the way the bill is set up, to pass. All right, y'all, while the Democrats are in the control of the Senate, they don't have the necessary 60 votes needed to pass the package as is. Y'all remember that? I talked to y'all about filibusters. We did a trivia about that as well. Um, um, so instead, they have to use the budget reconciliation. I taught y'all about that, too. We talked about that in the Wednesday workshop. Um, a parliamentary tool Congress can use to pass legislation with a simple majority as long as it, it, um, as long as it affects the federal budget. All right, y'all, but the Senate, you know, the parliamentarian, she's a nonpartisan official who did this, decided what legislation is eligible to be included in the reconciliation bill. Just the rule that it cannot be included. So that is what happened with that. Good morning, Lee. Good morning, Awana. How y'all doing, y'all? Um, so this will be the first defeat of President Biden. So maybe next time, maybe next time, but wait, hold up, wait a minute, somebody wait. Yesterday, y'all, Costco CEO Craig said his company is bumping up starting pay to $16 an hour. Say what? Hello, somebody. That's $1 more than Target. So now they're going to start competing against each other because they need employees to get to their place. So that's what's going to happen. So Best Buy has bumped it up and as well as Amazon. But y'all, Costco, get this about Costco. Costco has co consistently paid employees more than their retail uh, rivals. Yep. It's 180,000 U.S. workers earn on an average, y'all, $24 an hour. Hello, somebody. Y'all better get this information. And they also pay $2 per hour hazard pay, something that Kroger just, uh, denied their employees. Kroger employees, Costco's doing it. You may want to look for a new job. Oh, yeah, y'all, get this. Y'all, Best Buy is laying off 5,000 workers. So how y'all paying $16 an hour and they're going to lay off your workers? But that's what's happening. They laid off uh, 5,000 workers and they're closing more than 200 big box stores as more consumers are buying electronics online. Now, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. Yep, Demia, I see you, Costco. I don't know about y'all, but listen. I still like to look at stuff I'm going to buy. I still like to touch it. I still like to try it. I, I ain't buying everything online. I still, mm -mm, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Y'all, the house is working. The house is working. Y'all, the house passes um, the Equality Act. And this is a bill that will bar discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity under the 1964 Civil Rights Act. So y'all, listen to this. She's no Stacey Abrams, but she's trying. She's trying to be. The Hill is reporting that former Senator Kelly Loeffler, y'all know Georgia, y'all know her, y'all remember her, right? Is weighing in a 2022 mat rematch against Senator uh, Raphael Warnock. Girl, sit down. Your own NBA player saying they don't want food with you. So that's happening. But y'all, guess what she just started on Monday? She's trying to mimic Stacey Abrams, right? So she started a new organization called Greater Georgia to do the same thing Fair Fight's doing. Girl, you don't even have the, the you don't have it. So just sit down somewhere. On that, y'all can sip. What did Demia say? Take a sip. All I got is water. I know y'all got mimosas going, but I'm going to have to take a drink of this water for a minute. Yeah. I'm about to buy a waffle iron online. <laughs> Mike Nicholson, you crazy. All right, y'all, questions of bias. Let me get serious for a moment. A confirmation hearing um, for Deb Halen um, has raised questions about whether she's being treated differently because she's a, a Native American woman. Bye. 
Yeah, y'all, Ted Cruz is trying to grill everybody, and he's saying things that's not just right. It's just not right. Have a Coke and a smile and shut the, okay, hello. The man said, yeah, y'all, take a sip, take a sip. But anyway, listen. So they're really riding her. The GOP is really grilling her. Well, it came out yesterday that they believe it's because of bias because she's a Native American. And so the Republicans has, has expressed frustration at her lack of specifics during the hearing and claims it's not about race. Well, the fact that you even had to raise that it's not about race says a whole lot. Says Ted is trying to keep his eyes off himself. <laughs> yep, because Ted is still tripping. All right, y'all, minding her business, minding her business, minding her business. Y'all, Lady Gaga's dog walker was shot and hospitalized in critical condition, and two of the French bulldogs that belonged to Lady Gaga were stolen on Wednesday night in a robbery. Mrs. People confirms this. All right, y'all, um, Lady Gaga is offering a half a million dollars for the return of her two French bulldogs. Hello, somebody. So if y'all live in her area... Try to help her find it. Get a half a meal. All right, so I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. You said you want to fight, Ted. Y'all now talking about fighting. Y'all better put the mimosas down if y'all talking about fighting and tripping to Cancun. Y'all are crazy this morning. How y'all doing? All right, this is what I want y'all doing the thread. This is what y'all want y'all doing the thread. How would you help solve Lady Gaga's um, finding of her two bulldogs if you knew you was going to get a half a million dollars? What would that look like? Go ahead and put that in a thread and I'm going to wait and I'm going to read some of y'all's response. What would y'all do? What would y'all do? That's that, that man's name is Ted. <laughs> mimosa down. Y'all putting the mimosas down because y'all are straight up. Y'all, some of y'all been sipping the mimosas before seven o'clock. I know y'all have. All right. So what would y'all do? What would y'all do? Annette said, it's not the mimosa, it's the coffee. Mm -hmm. what's, what, the, the question is, what have you added to the coffee? Lori says, pets are family. Romper room is in full effect. Kim Edmonds and Romper room is all the way live this morning. Oh my God, I love y'all. Uh, fine lookalike dogs. <laughs> so you will find a lookalike dog. Okay. Uh, you will put up flyers. Okay, okay. Come on, you know you're going to get a half a million. You know you're going to make get a half a million. Buy bulldogs that look like her bulldogs and be like, these are yours. <laughs> Take them. <laughs> but y'all have to understand her bulldogs probably cost a couple million. Um, you said, now that's a question. <laughs> You would hang out at a dog park. Okay, you go buy. Most of y'all saying y'all would go buy two dogs that look like her dogs. Don't y'all know that when she called him by name, they're not going to come to her? So that's not going to work, people. That's not going to work. But anyway, you know what? $500,000, I would figure out something to, to be told. All right, y'all, who's in the club? Who's in the club? Who's in the club? Now, it's only on iPhone, but it's growing. Yep, the invitation only. Um, and somehow, I got an invite, so I'm in the club. I'm in the club. I'm not doing anything in there yet, but I'm in the clubhouse, y'all. Earlier this week, co-founder Paul Davidson said the service has reached 10 million weekly active users, meaning its users base uh, has blossomed from five-fold in a month. And the analytics research firm, uh, App Annie, reports that Clubhouse has reached number one at Apple Inc.'s App Store. Um, it's, more than in, it's more than in 30 countries. Um, so it's more popular right now, y'all, than Instagram, TikTok, Zoom, and WhatsApp. That's what's happening in the club, y'all. Now, if you want an invitation, because this is my invitation only. So if you want Mary Jenkins in the clubhouse, all right, girl, we're going to have to connect. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing yet in the clubhouse. Okay. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. Um, Demia says clubhouse is great for performers. A lot of auditions. I, I'm in the club, but somebody gave me an invitation. So I'm, I, I've arrived, but I have not participated yet. So I have to figure out how to do it. Oh, a lot of y'all in the house. All right. Well, should I say a lot of y'all in the club? Now we talking about the club on the platform, not the club on the corner. Two different kind of clubs. But listen, 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 y'all listen. Now, people are wanting invitations so bad that they're now doing bidding on eBay. Hello, somebody. Somebody got smart up in there and they started putting invitations on eBay where eBay's gonna have people gonna have to pay to get in the club. 
So guess what happened, y'all? Guess what happened? Guess what happened? See, they got to be starting something. Oh, that was Michael Jackson. Got to be starting something. See, I don't even know those whole words. And yes, y'all, I can move. But anyway, I keep thinking of Michael Jackson every time I would say, you got to be starting something. So anyway, y'all, after the Clubhouse Invitational eBay, Twitter, get what Twitter's doing, y'all. Twitter has announced Super Follows feature, meaning they will allow Super Follow features to charge to read a tweet. So if you're in the middle of a tweet and you want to read the rest of the tweet, you may have to pay somebody to read the rest of the tweet. I don't know if I like that, but that's monetizing social media. The platform is also planning communities. So on Twitter, you can now go on the into uh, communities. See what's happening on Clubhouse. They're now the forerunner. So everyone else is about to mimic what they're doing. We don't know what's about to happen, but something's about to blow. Something's about to blow. All right, y'all. Did you know? Now, listen, when I was reading about this and none of the team knew this, y'all, did y'all know that Dunkin' Donuts dropped the name Donuts two years ago? I really missed that memo. I did not know Dunkin' Donuts, Donuts did that. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know that Dunkin' Donuts dropped the name Donuts two years ago? Now, this isn't even a story, but I just want to know if I was the only one that was, you know, oblivious to the fact that Dunkin' is now Dunkin' and no longer Dunkin' Donuts. It's just the strangest thing. Good morning, Pastor Alex. How are you feeling? Good to see you in the house this morning. Let us know how you're feeling. Let us know how we can continue to pray for you. But y'all, Dunkin' Donuts dropped the donut. Um... So I'm just trying to figure out what's happening with that. What's happening with that? So anyway, get this. So here's the real story of Dunkin' Donuts. Um, they now sell avocado toast. That's all I wanted to tell y'all. <laughs> it's Mimosa Friday. It's Mimosa Friday. That's all I want. That's all the headline. I know y'all were like, that's all you were trying to tell me? That's all I was trying to tell y'all. But I was so intrigued with the fact that donuts fell off of Dunkin' that I was like, what? But anyway, they now sell avocado toast. So there's that. All right, y'all. Airbnb and DoorDash. Listen to this, y'all. We were talking about stocks before. And remember, I am not a stockbroker. I cannot give y'all any stock advice. I'm just giving y'all news headlines. There is a difference. So if you go out here and buy stocks, you're doing it on your own. Has nothing to do with Gail Dudley or News in Motion. Now that I cleared myself of that health reasons. Now that I cleared myself of that, y'all, surprise, uh, surpass revenue. Both of them surpass revenue expectations in first earnings announcement um, post initial public offering. So as soon as they went public, they made some serious earnings. So y'all, that's Airbnb and DoorDash. In case you want to know. All right, y'all, long overdue. This is long overdue. This is long overdue. Y'all, 538 is reporting that the Negro lead stars um, that, M that MLB kept out are now finally being recognized. Y'all, they are finally being recognized. That is happening. They are finally being recognized. Um, <laughs> No, Mike Nicholson, no, no, no. That's why I cleared my name in the beginning. Absolutely not. Now, see, y'all, Alex, when Pastor Alex, I'm about, he knows about Dunkin' Donuts. You supposed to be getting well. You supposed to be getting well, buddy. What you doing with some donuts? So anyway, they're finally being recognized, y'all. Roughly 3,400 3, men, 3,400 black men, shall I say, who played in seven Negro leagues um, from 1920 to 1948 will be recognized. It's long overdue. So that's happening, y'all. We will put the link so that you can see all their pictures, all their stats, all their runnings. We will put their, the link in this thread after the broadcast so that you all can see it. It's, it's a really beautiful way they displayed everybody. All right, now here's here's what's really happening. Here's what's really happening. Tasunda Brown um, Duckett will lead the TIAA, another black woman, y'all. Yep, Miss Brown Duckett becomes the second black woman CEO of Fortune 500 company, as reported in the money section of the USA Today. Hello, somebody. T TIAA stands for Teachers Insurance and an Annuity Association, say that real fast, of America. Named the J.P. Morgan Chase Tasunda Brown Duckett as 
Dunk, Dunk, excuse me, a CEO. And again, she's the second black woman tapped this year alone, this year. And this year, we just in the, the end of February. So we getting one a month. Hello, somebody to lead a 500 company. Starbucks executive Rosalind Brewer, as you remember, was appointed last month to Walgreens. So if we can score one a month, we actually scored three because we got a black vice president of these United States of America. Y'all, the Fortune 500 company has been without a black CEO since Ursula Burns, who left Xerox in 2016. Y'all, and you know what keeps coming in my mind every time I was reading this article? You know that song, Ain't No Stopping Us Now? Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. Ha! Yeah! See, I'm really moving. I probably need to slow down a little bit, but I'm really moving. All right, y'all. CNBC is reporting that that buttercup dude... Yep, his tax returns are now in the hands of the Manhattan District Attorney. And trust me, the Attorney General Leticia James has plans for his future. Hello, somebody. Y'all, after the ruling, this is actually sad. Um, I'm actually, I went from angry to the man to wanting to punch the man. No violence, no violence. It was just a thought. It was just a thought. Now I'm like kind of sad. Then I'm now mad. And I'm mad because he didn't stand to, to deal with what he did. He took the weak way out and killed himself. Let me tell you about this. The former U.S. gymnastic coach, John uh, Gedark, takes his life after being charged with two dozen crimes, including human trafficking and abuse. Yeah, mm -hmm. he had turned his elite Lansing area gym into a criminal enterprise by coercing girls to train there and then abusing them. Just all the way mad about that. John says, slow your butt down for at least three more days. <laughs> Okay, John Gore. Okay, John Gore. But y'all, seriously, with this dude, I'm a little, I went, I've had every emotion on the spectrum. No, you need to stand accused. You need to stand and deal with what you did to everyone else. He took the punk way out. And that's not okay. That's not okay. Yep, coward. Coward. But I do want to say this to everybody. Today, we all need to be careful. Children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. We all need to be careful when we're letting our children go into places. And especially now when they're saying, you can't come in. You have to stay outside. You know, people may start using those rules from now on. You need to really pray before you let your children, your grandchildren, your great-great-grandchildren, your nieces, your nephews, whomever. You need to ask questions. And it's not that we're paranoid. It's not that we're overly protective, but we're trying to make sure that you're not abusing our children. We're trying to make sure you're not abusing our families. Even in your neighborhood, if you're seeing young girls going to a home and you know it's a, only a single male and he may be saying, well, I'm doing tutoring. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You need to raise the question. You need to raise the question. You see our little boys going in places. You need to raise the question. You got to raise the questions, y'all. We got to stop just letting our children just go and do whatever. Even mine who are grown. I'm still like, where are you going? Go on, let me just text me when you get there, please. And it's not that I'm in their business. I just want to make sure you're okay. I just want to make sure you're okay. All right, y'all, the coronavirus numbers here are the coronavirus numbers. Confirmed cases, 29 million. 52,262. Confirmed cases, 29 million. 52,000. 262, and this is in the U.S. Deaths, 517,000, <clears throat> excuse me, 785. 517,785. Yep, that's it to me. Where are you going? Where are you going? I know you've grown and all, but you can, please just tell me where. I still tell my parents where I go. Like when I'm going out of town or doing something that's not normal, I still tell them. I still tell my siblings, hey, y'all. And we have a sibling group where we text each other like almost daily, sometimes 50 times a day. And we text, hey, I'm doing this. Hey, by the way, this is happening. It's just letting somebody know. We got to let people know today. 
Um, deaths, 517,785 recovered, recovered. We got to celebrate this recovered recovery, 19,435,453. And y'all got a good announcement. So don't go off of here yet. Y'all 19,434,453 that's recovered. So let's celebrate that. And I got an announcement. Just hold on. Just hold on. Here's some good news. This isn't the announcement, but here's some good news. Y'all U S COVID-19 hospitalizations dropped by 80,000 in six weeks. Hello, somebody. 17% of the nation's adult population has gotten at least one dose of the vaccine. So that's exciting. Hold on, I still got some news. Sad news. When it comes to COVID-19 vaccines, many low-income countries, um, most people won't be vaccinated for many years. That's sad. Israel has enough vaccines to inoculate everyone over 16 in their country. Huh? How'd you get that? Can y'all send some of those in the U.S., please? Now, here's our announcement. And I need to read this so I make sure I say it correctly. Here's our announcement. Somebody's been watching us. Somebody's watching you. Is that a song? Or did I make that up? I think I made that up. Anyway, the news in motion... Let me give y'all my announcement. Here's the press release from News in Motion. News in Motion has been asked to participate in the coronavirus vaccinations. Listen, listen, listen. Here's what we agreed to do when we received the announcement, when we received the letter. We will continue with the numbers as we, as we have been sharing the numbers every day on the broadcast, and we will give updates on the vaccines. We have also agreed as a News in Motion um, family that we will give numbers of those who view this broadcast weekly, those of you who have been vaccinated to the CDC. So we need your help. If you have been vaccinated, don't put it on the thread because we, we don't see everything on the thread. We don't see it all. So we want you to either message the News in, Ma the news in Motion messenger on Facebook. We either want you to message that or we want you to send an email to my email. And I hate putting it on here, but here it is anyway. Send it to info, I-N-F-O, the period sign, Gail Dudley at gmail.com. Again, that's info, the period sign, Gail Dudley at gmail.com. We want to know if you've been vaccinated. We want to know when you get your first dose. We want to know when you get your second dose. And we will re be reporting those numbers into the CDC. Hello, somebody. See, y'all, we had no idea what we were doing with News in Motion, but look what's happening. They've asked us to participate because they've noticed we give the numbers every day. They notice we give news, whether good or bad, every day. They notice that we talk about Wash your hands, wear your mask, wear two of them, and practice social distancing. They notice that we have said, stay your behinds at home. They notice that. And they notice that our, our, the majority of our targeted audience are black and brown people. And they're really trying to get black and brown people to be vaccinated. Now, one thing that we said we will not do is tell everybody to go and get vaccinated. Because we believe that's not our place to do. We want you to do what's best. And y'all can have talk among yourselves to suggest what you should do, when you should do it, and how you should do it. But it's not going to come from this seat. We're not going to do that. So if you would please participate with us so we can turn in those numbers so we could be a part of the numbers at the CDC. Hello, somebody. All right, y'all, for the win, for the win, for the win. Because they, they were supposed to have been for the win on Wednesday. They were supposed to have been on for the win on yesterday. And we're going to give them the win today. So Global Citizens is reporting the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Merkel and Prince Harry stepped into uh, stepped in to offer their support to the Genesis Women's Shelter and Support, an organization that provides services to domestic violence survivors um, after it sustained major damages and flooding due to the crazy winter storm in Texas. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made a sizable donation through their nonprofit organization, uh, Archweld Foundation. The donation will come to the women's shelter in Dallas to replace a damaged roof and make functional repairs throughout Annie's house, the transitional housing facility that provides safe harbor, uh, safe housing, excuse me, for women and children to begin to be rebuild their lives. So they get the win for today. They get the win for today. The inspirational message is this. Have fun. Y'all just have fun. Laugh all weekend long. 
find something to have fun with, find something to laugh with all weekend long. We're going to fast from negativity this weekend. We're going to fast from negative energy this weekend. We're going to fast from thinking bad thoughts this weekend. We're going to fast from arguing with anybody this weekend. We're going to have a blast all weekend long, y'all. That's the inspirational message. I don't have any scripture to go with it. I don't have any deep information to go with it. We're just going to have a ball all weekend long. Have some fun. You will find that you're going to feel much better because laughter to me, it just like takes everything else away. So if somebody even comes at you crazy, just bust out laughing, just laugh it off and keep on going. They may think you crazy and you can think to yourself, trust me, I'm just crazy enough to laugh because I was about to punch you. No violence, no violence, no violence, but laugh, have fun, have a blast, enjoy your life, y'all. People are leaving us every day. So enjoy your life. All right, y'all, before we get out of here for the weekend, I have two things to share because they keep telling me to make sure I share them. Y'all, starting Monday is March the 1st, which is um, Women's Month, Women's Month. So send us your For the Win for women throughout the entire month of March. If you have somebody, y'all, just send it to us, a short paragraph so we know why we're giving them the win. But we want to highlight women every day in the month of March for every broadcast. So let us know that. Also, if you are a woman own business, if you are a woman-owned business, or maybe you know somebody who has a, 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 a woman's own business, um, ask us how you can have your products, your products featured here, products, services, whatever, featured right here on News in Motion. You know, it's not expensive. It really isn't. But let us help you get the word out. We would ask you to send your products, a sample, something to us. But just go ahead and inbox us and say, hey, we're interested. Do not put it on the thread. Because when we go back now to look at the thread on this page, we're not seeing all the all the all the comments for whatever reason we're not seeing all of them so anyway y'all y'all know what it's like it's mimosa friday y'all enjoy y'all's mimosa all i got is water but y'all enjoy y'all's mimosas today i want to see those pictures flooded 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 with pictures i want to see those pictures right here on this thread we will put the information about the negro league we will put the uh, link on there so that you have an opportunity to see that but i am gail dudley with your news in motion you make it a great friday make it a great weekend and remember until next time stay well and what make moves hello somebody make some moves <laughs>